Christmas and the holiday season are almost here. So what you wanna be doing is looking at how you can turn your product to be relevant to giftable keywords. Giftable keywords are gonna have a massive increase in search volume over the next four to six weeks. So of course you wanna tailor your listing, tailor your PPC to take full advantage of that increased search volume. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make sure you take full advantage of those giftable keywords while making sure those keywords are actually relevant to your product as well as what you can do to your listing to make your listing more festive and take advantage of those increased giftable conversion rates. Let's get into it. So giftable keywords start to become more relevant, particularly in November. So as you can see, there is some search volume in September, October time, but it really picks up in November. And I've just put the keyword in gift just to show you what happens when it comes to that keyword. People just aren't gonna search gift on its own. They're gonna search gift for my parents, gift for my sister, electronic gift, Christmas tree gift. That's what people are gonna be searching for rather than just the seed frame gift. But this gives you an idea of when people actually start searching for the keywords gift. So once you have that in place, obviously if you look at Christmas, it's the same thing. So Christmas gifts, when you actually search for Christmas gifts, same situation here. You have, of course, a bit of an increase in search volume throughout October, and then once you get to November, it skyrockets. So what's the best way to prepare for this? Well, firstly, what you need to do is actually look at your product and see, can it be giftable? Is it a necessity? Well, potentially it can be giftable. If it's something electronic, it's clothes, it's anything like that, yes, it probably can be giftable. So what you want to do is look at how you can actually turn that into a giftable product. And it doesn't take much to do. Let me show you what you can do to actually get this set up. So firstly, take your product, for example, and actually have a look what it actually fits for. So you've got a backpack here, and this is a good example of what could be a good Christmas gift. And you want to turn this into a lot more festive listing. So what you could do here is you could have that on the listing, firstly, gifts for dad or gifts for my father, anything like that, just to make it show that this is a gift, that's something you can do first. You can of even course. change all the bullet points and say great for a gift. Talk about why it's great for a gift, how it could be a good gift for your dad, talk about your target audience. You have to be tailoring the listing for who is purchasing the gift, not for the person receiving it. So do keep that in mind. You do want to get their attention as a priority. So whether that be you're targeting the wife who's buying it for their husband, you're targeting the children buying it for their father, whatever it is, you need to make sure the keywords and everything within the listing reflect that. So same goes when you actually put gifts for my father or gifts for my dad. Think of what's more relevant and then pick those keywords for it. So same goes with the gallery images. Of course, you can show, for example, if, if they had red, white, and green, you could show those colors at the top, just make it a little bit more festive. You could have an infographic here which shows the product under a Christmas tree. Maybe there's some wrapping paper on it just to make it look a bit festive. And you could move that image to be number two or three just so people see it a bit more often. So in terms of that, that's what you can start with. Obviously, if you have some packaging in the back of the image, you can make some changes to the packaging and show a bit more color in it, maybe a red ribbon, for example. You do need to think of Amazon's terms of service, so do be careful on what you do. You don't want to get your listing in any suppression situations. So obviously look at what you can do. But if you do have packaging which you can make some changes to, then go for it. Of course, that will help with conversion rates. Next is the A plus content. So you could turn one of these sections to be a holiday season related A plus. So that could be the first section or number two just to show people this is a Christmas gift. What the objective of this is, is to show your target audience that this is a giftable product. And of course, as you see here, it's very functional. It does everything you need it to. It's got all the pockets, it's a laptop bag, it's good for travel, all of that. But we want people to be thinking about gifting it. So maybe they're buying it for themselves and when they're looking, but then they see, oh, it can be a gift. And they think of that person who needs one. That's what you want to do with the A+. So the listing needs to be sort of revamped to be able to tailor to that. You do want to have all the functionality because the person who's buying it may be queued up on that and know what the person actually needs, but 
the priority is going to be if they're buying a backpack for example and they're giving it as a gift they're going to look at some main things that they're trying to deal with such as maybe the laptop bag it's got luggage strap on it side mesh how much you can fit in it that might be all they're looking for whilst if the actual person is searching for it they might be looking for a lot more things rather than just those few that someone buying for a gift is scrolling down you can see my example of what actually you could do so for example best friend here giving it as a gift you've got the christmas tree in the background you've got the wrapping good example here this is what converts particularly around the holiday season all you need to do is make something simple you don't need to go too overboard with it but just show that it's a christmas gift and it goes a long way you can also use ugc on your listing so you can put that either as a video on the a plus content or you can have it uploaded down here so if you want this to be tailored to the holiday season maybe you make a video for the holiday season and you put it there all these things will go a long way in improving your click-through rate and your conversion so the main things though that i would prioritize is the title and the main image because these are the things people are going to see first so you need to make sure people know it's a gift before they even click on your listing everything else afterwards helps them sell on the gift but you need to get them in the door in the first place now when you're actually trying to find the keywords to target with your giftable product what you want to do is think broad from the start so for example you've got the rucksack here what's it going to be used for well it's going to be travel that's what people are going to be looking for so travel christmas gifts is going to be something you want to look at and of course if you pop it into helium 10 just so make sure you have those phrases there you're going to come with a bunch of different things here so as you can see search volume isn't very high right now but over time it's going to increase these are i guess somewhat broad terms that you're going to be going after what you want to have is travel suitcase gift travel bag gift travel gift ideas for my brother um, travel gift ideas for men uh, travel bag gift men you want to have it that it actually includes the product within the search term you don't just want to go for travel gift on its own or travel gift ideas on its own you're going to go very broad in terms of what you're targeting and as you can see right now it's not very expensive but historically i guess if we pull 12 months you'll see that the bids do increase in december and then drop down towards may and this is the same with all giftable keywords you will see that giftable keywords do get more expensive in season so what you need to do is be very specific on what you're targeting so you have the best conversion rates so what you can do is find some broad terms from helium 10 find where they might be a good fit and then after that look by search volume see is there anything that could turn out to be good in the next few months and from that add your product into those terms so you might find the search volume on some of these terms is not very high at the moment but don't be discouraged what you need to do is build up that bank of keywords look at what might be a good opportunity you can put them to helium 10 see what the search volume trends are maybe there's one or two of them that have good search volume in the holiday season and from there you set up the campaigns it might be early in terms of actually getting sales from these but what you want to do is test the waters see how you do for those keywords and as things start to increase your market share whatever it is should increase along with that the goal with setting up these campaigns early is to actually see how they perform at the current rate and of course if you can get some sales build up some ranking then that's going to go in your favor whilst once we get into the holiday season and things are going a lot more faster well you're going to be organically ranked you're going to have a lot better performance compared with people just starting out and of course if your product is very specific to those keywords then you are going to have a good conversion and it's going to be worth it so it's all about preparation here and it's all about testing if you're seeing this at the end of october and things are going into november pretty soon well still time to do this all you need to do is run those tests maybe you run them on a higher budget so they get more clicks depends on the search volume if that's able to happen or not but see if that keyword works if it works for you then carry it on if the acos is okay but it's not great well these are the sort of keywords you want to look for because when the conversion rates are low in the off season you're going to find there will be a shift where the conversion rate increases acos will come down and that campaign will start to perform better
I hope you found that helpful and hopefully give you some insights on how to properly prepare your products to be ready for the giftable holiday season. If you need help with this, you don't want to begin or you just don't have the time to manage it yourself, contact us below, kickstartppc.com. Schedule an audit with us, see how we can help you out. There's still this time before Black Friday and Cyber Monday when a lot of giftable products are going to be purchased. So it's best to contact us before so we have the chance to actually audit your account, start making some changes before that happens. So do feel free to reach out. And of course, until next video, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.